Hi everybody. In this case, we are being asked uh, how many ways we can we can arrange a, a group of four boys and four girls if they got to alternate. And then we're just going to add one other little restriction here that a boy must be the first in the row. Okay. Well, if you put a boy first, then you you take away that ambiguity as to whether or not you should have a boy or a girl starting. So, it's ba basically to compare this to the previous question, we're going to lose the two here. Okay, there won't be any issue about choosing which gender comes first. We're being told the boy must come first. And so this is going to give us four choices for the first position and four choices for the girl. And then three, three, two, two, one, one. And remember, this is just placing the individuals. Okay, and so that can be simplified down to four factorial, four factorial. Uh, this is kind of a, a similar sort of situation here. Um, if I was to, if we were to do this where there was, for example, if we were to come over here and, and change this just a little bit and say, let's say that there are five boys and four girls, okay? In this kind of a situation here, to ask them to alternate, um, the, the implication here is that a boy must come first. That's the only way that you can get these, these groups to alternate. Okay, and so here in this question, we're telling you a boy must come first. In this case here, uh, you have no choice. The boy would come first. And this would become 5 factorial times 4 factorial. There's, there's no other factors there because you simply don't have the choice. 